So joining us in the studio to discuss where you can enjoy the South Florida dining experience without the price is local food blogger Cheyenne Rodney. Cheyenne, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so let's talk about first where some of your favorite spots to go mm -hmm. are across South Florida that, you know, if you're on a little bit of a budget but still mm -hmm. want to have that dining experience. I would definitely say if you're on a budget, the best way to go is either happy hours, lunch specials, or sometimes what restaurants will have like weekly date night specials that they have on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So I would check like your local restaurants to see what their particular lunch specials or weekly specials are. But that is definitely the way to go. Would you say happy hour really just also gives you that fun experience, that mm -hmm. fun vibe, and mm -hmm. also a little bit of a cheaper menu as well? Yeah, and I think that it's a great way to highlight some of their signature cocktails as well as different like menu items. So a lot of times with uh, happy hour menus in particular, usually restaurants like to highlight a sample of one of their most famous dishes. So if they're known for like a skillet mac and cheese, you can get a smaller por portion during happy hour, which I absolutely love. Yeah, that's great. You get to yeah. sample some of the best items on the menu that exactly. way. So, so many people have moved down to South Florida. Mm -hmm. um, they might not know where to go mm -hmm. to get those affordable happy hour, some of the best places. What would your advice be to maybe someone who's new in town mm -hmm. and wants to check out some of the happy hours? Mm -hmm. Where can they go besides your blog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> where can they go to find out more information about right. what are the best options? Right. Um, I would definitely say the first step is to visit Shine the Blogger on Instagram or TikTok because you can get insightful videos as well as different details of where to go and places to eat and things to do but I would also say to check um, Google reviews along with Yelp Yelp is a really good tool that you can see other testimonies of people that have dined in this restaurant and images I am a visual eater so I love to look at the menu items on Yelp before deciding what I'm gonna order so I would definitely say to go that route as well okay I'm gonna put you on the spot here mm -hmm. what right now is your favorite maybe a little bit more affordable spot to head mm -hmm. to uh, to enjoy a good meal mm -hmm. uh, maybe a good cocktail I would definitely say that changes it's such a hard question because a lot of times every time that you try a new restaurant your answer will change so this week I may be a sushi lover next week I'm looking for steak so it definitely changes but I do have a few local spots if I'm looking for really good Indian food I go to Rishtadar and Wynwood um, but if I'm looking for like a really good like poolside happy hour I love Santorini's STK also has a really good happy hour as well and then funny enough um, if you're looking for drinks medium cool is a jazz lounge uh -huh. that has a daily happy hour where you can also get live jazz. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, there's really cool things in Miami. Okay, real quick before I let you mm -hmm. go. I mean, Miami has just exploded as a food scene in the last few years, but what made you, because you have a really big following mm -hmm. now, what made you get into restaurant and food blogging? So I actually started off as um, doing cooking demos on social media because cooking was my thing, food was my thing. Um, but then once I started working full time, it was super hard to continue doing those videos and then I just started recording where I would eat. And my thing was always to get dressed and go out. So then after that, I kind of was like, wow, there's so many people in this world that wants to know all of these hidden gems. Maybe I should just sort of start highlighting where I go to grab a bite to eat or drinks with my friends or even little spots for like my uh, birthday, things like that. So that's pretty much how I geared into that. But I did start off doing like cooking demos with my schedule. I just <laughs> sort of had to transition. Yeah. But I love what I do now. Yeah, I mean, so much fun and so many cool spots yes. to check out here in South Florida. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. You for heard it from Cheyenne. The mm -hmm. best thing to do, go to those happy hours. Yes. Thank you so much.